If you only watch one of my videos on my channel, this would be the one to watch. So stay tuned. It's time for a brief description about what it means to put and have more colorful grays. A white peony is full of grays, but in order for it to be a vibrant painting, I have to put as much color into my grays as it's possible to do. So I did a long and a short version of painting this peony, and what I want to do now is simply talk about grays. So let's get started. I do not own a tube of gray. What I do is I mix my grays. In order to mix grays, I have to neutralize colors. In order to neutralize colors, I have to pick a red, a yellow, and a blue and mix them together. So here are some examples of colorful grays. Some are warmer, like that one, it, because it has more yellow in it, so it's brown. That's a cooler gray because it has blue in it. You can sort of see that some things look a little bit more violet or a little bit more yellow. That's how to put more color into your grays. Now we're going to look at it through a value finder. They're all about the same, not the ones that are mixed together. Those ones are very dark, almost black, I would call that. But I, I would mix anything that was already black. But it's surprising that a warm gray and a cool gray will be the same value, but they will look different in the painting. So when you are squinting at your subject or looking at your subject, you want to just ask yourself, pretty simply uh, uh, say to yourself, okay, I don't know what that color is. I think it's gray. Okay, I'm going to mix a gray. Squint and say, is that a color that I can't identify, that gray? Does it have, does it have, seem to have more yellow in it or does it seem to have more violet or blue in it? And that will help you determine if it should be a warm gray or a cool gray. So let's take a look now at mixing and using some triads. When I'm working with a white object, I like to use cerulean blue, a permanent rose, and Naples yellow as my triad. Three colors, and I work wet into wet. So I could mix them all together and make a gray, and I'll show you an example of that. Or I can make them a form by using all three, and like I said, letting them join. And when you step far away from it, there they are all joined together. There, That is a gray. So a, a picture or a petal of a peony could be painted with gray, but it's not going to have much color in it. So let's take a look at a petal that you might see in a peony. They have jagged edges at the end, and then they seem to come together in the middle. Oh, I changed my mind. I think we're going to do a circle. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do a circle, and that's going to be, and that would be the example of a peony petal. Again, I don't paint petal by petal, so that would be a whole shape that I saw in the peony. So we're going to do the circle first. There's cerulean blue. It's about the strength of tea. It's a number 12 round brush. Then I drop in some permanent rose, and then underneath that, some Naples yellow. This is a great way to make clouds as well. Fantastic. Works, <laughs> Works fantastic to make clouds or anything, really, that, that's white. Because very seldom does white really appear in nature at all. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling. I'm not rubbing over the color. I'm pulling. There you can see it without a, a, a graphite circle around it, but your eye will see it as a round sphere. And that's what I'm trying to do with those different forms in the peony, not the petals. Don't be deceived. I'm not painting individual petals. But you can see the difference between that sphere that's going to read as gray and the gray that I mixed. So let's just take a quick look at why this matters. You can see the peony that I painted, and you can see where I did some triad work. And you can also see where I used a warm gray or a cool gray. If it helps you to think of it as yellow or blue, uh, that's fine too. That value finder is showing you, if, if you were to stop it, see how everything is almost the same value. That's why temperature matters here. When you're painting something, something that is pretty much all the same value, oh, let's say it's a white cat or it's a, a white lab's face, or in this case, a peony, you can't necessarily rely on lights, mediums, and darks in order to turn the form. And so what you have to do instead is think about temperature. If it's cooler and leans toward violet or blue, it's going to go in a little bit. If, it is, if it's a gray with some yellow in it or some orange in it, then it's going to come forward. So you have to think about that in order to create form. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paint's wet, mass for value, mix for color. See you next time. Bye-bye.